Hola, hola, my Queen Bee Bakers. We are going to be making some pink candy apples, or just a candy apple, not a few, just one, so you guys can see the color and see what it takes to get a nice, pretty pink. Let me adjust this just a little so you guys can see everything going on. All right, and as always, I'm using my Archon mount. You guys can definitely get any kind of mount or stand on archon.com and don't forget to use my code queen b you guys will be able to save 20 percent off your purchase and that's even on the inexpensive stands that are like 15 dollars. so you are going to be saving a bundle so if you want your own and you want to start taking really good still pictures or start videoing go to archon.com and i'll have it in the description box below all right so i'm letting this come to temp we are going to be using Wilton <clears throat> Rose let me make sure we get that Wilton Rose and I love this color because it really gives you a vibrant pink a really vibrant pink like you don't need a whole bunch of it you really don't and you can use the white icing color now this isn't particularly a gel um, so it might work different for other recipes. So then use the uh, gel bottle. I'm running low. Yes. Yes. I'm definitely doing the stick in the bottle and getting out my color. Hey, this stuff is not cheap. And I'm always on a budget. I'm frugal franny. So I'm going to get the most bang for my buck. Anywho, don't judge me. So you can use this one, but it might leave specks everyone's recipe is completely different um but my go-to is a chef's uh chef master's gel white with the rose now you can put a lot of this you're gonna get a beautiful color whether you want a gloss or an opaque look i always go for an opaque look the gloss look is where you can see the candy apple or the candy uh the apple through the candy god i can't spoke tonight just kidding speak um so it's really just dependent on what you want. I'm just looking at the tent, making sure it's good because it's looking a little yellow. And I did cut the batch in to a fourth. So yeah, you can cut the candy apple batch, well my candy apple mixture, to a fourth to a half to, you can double it up. It's completely up to you what you want to do. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the white, not a lot. That was about six drops. I said not a lot, and then it goes All right, and, and then I'm gonna go to put a good, about half a teaspoon. Because I really want that vibrant pink. Now, this is gonna come to temp in a little bit. Look at that beautiful pink. And I'm gonna turn it off. Remember my recipe, I mix my colors while it is cooking because I wanna make sure I get the color I want. Like the color you see in the pot is the color you're gonna get on your apple. Now, if you're worried the mixture is going to burn, take it off and then color it. But just keep in mind, anytime you're using white gel, it's just the chemicals that are in there and they're not necessarily bad chemicals, just whatever the white gel is made up of, it uh, does harden faster. Just FYI. So if you've ever had, you know, struggled with white um, uh, candy apples, it's because they dry, it just dries faster. It's the chemicals in the white gel or any white paint. It's the compounds in there. Science, again, you guys know I love science. Look at this, beautiful. So I'm going to get the apple and we're going to dip it. And of course, I'm going to show you what kind of pink this is in the white background. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and scrape the sides. Get that candy apple. And remember, you guys, I do also have the video on how to clean your pot when you're done with your candy apples. And if you feel like it needs a little bit more white, go ahead and add some more white. You can 
mix it in and see what it'll look like. What a lot of people are afraid to do is experiment. And I get it. Sometimes you just go balls walls because you are taking an order and you totally did not know what you were doing. That's okay. Next time, research and figure out what you have to do to get the right thing. I always say plan ahead, schedule, schedule, and learn what you're going to do rather than... And you can actually dip your candy apple again you see how it just made that a little bit more brighter it is drying a little bit but that's okay this is just to show you guys see that amazing so if you want a super thick candied apple that would definitely be the way to do it so I added about another six drops so a 12 12 drops total to get this nice pink. I wasn't liking the first one. It was a little too on the dark side. I wanted a more vibrant one, so I just added white. And I'm always going to show you guys if I make a mistake. If I do, if I don't, great. It's real life. There's no perfect here. I want you guys to see it because I don't want you, if you think you did it right but you messed up, I just think it's fair to show all the trials. <laughs> We're gonna go forever with this right here. Of of messing up like this right here. I should have definitely scraped it some more. That's okay. You live and you learn. Make sure you do scrape it because I dipped it three times, so obviously. There's a lot more candy underneath there. <laughs> All right. So, I work with uh, candy. I also, you know, blow hot um, candy and I work with sugar art. So, I'm used to the heat. But if you guys are not, be very, very, very cautious. I don't want you to burn your guys' self. So, look at that. It's pretty pink. I'm just going to let it set up and then we're going to take a picture of it. All right, here is the pink. How beautiful. Look at that color and that shine. Now let's put it. I actually had some purple color earlier. I was working with some fondant and I stained the counter. <laughs> of course. All right, so here's our purple one. We did that in the other video and also our black one. We also did that one in the other video. So, how beautiful is that pink? And I will have a, the, the details in the description box below. And as always, guys, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and on Twitter. Candy Queen Bee Baker. You can also get my candy apple recipe at queenbeebakers.com. All the information will be below. And if you have a tutorial suggestion, something that I haven't already done or taught, that is on my website. Uh, let me know. Comment below.